Let's take a close look at solving lens problems, specifically a conversion lens in this case. So here we have our candle, which will be the object, a focal point, which is two units away, converging lens here. And of course, when you're looking through a lens at an object, your eyeball would be right here. So you have object, lens, and eye. Let's draw the first ray, which would be a parallel ray. And parallel rays go through the focal point. So the light goes through the lens and through the focal point. That's what converging lenses do. They, they take in parallel rays and converge them all at the focal point. Now the next ray, well, it's the symmetric opposite. If it goes through the focal point on this side, then it's going to exit parallel. And the rays converge here. This is the point here where the image is formed. And let's, let's draw in our little image. So here's our candle. And this is the uh, flame coming up. And that's what your eye sees. It sees the image of the candle there. And it's a real image. Real light is focused at that point. Well, let's take a look at solving this problem using the lens equation to see how accurately our ray tracing came about. So the lens equation is 1 over the focal distance equals 1 over the object distance plus 1 over the image distance. Well, the focal distance is 2, so I have 1 half, equals the object is, uh, two, four, is 5, so 1 over 5 plus 1 over the image distance. And now it's just a matter of solving this fraction. And I will minus a one-fifth on both sides. So minus one-fifth here, minus one-fifth there. And let's write out our new equation. So we have one-half minus one-fifth is equal to one over the image distance. Now, we just need to find the common denominator. And we can do that by uh, multiplying the 2 together. 2 times 5 is 10, so that's clearly the common denominator. So I'll multiply top and bottom here by 5, and I'll multiply top and bottom here by 2. And now we are left with, well, 5 times 1 is 5, 2 times 5 is 10, and over here we have a minus 1 times 2, which is 2, and a 5 times 2, which is 10. And that equals the uh, 1 over distance. So now we have a common denominator. We simply have to do 5 minus 2, which is 3. So we have 3 tenths equal to 1 over the image distance. And if I flip both sides, I get 10 thirds equals the image distance. Or in other words, the image distance is equal to 3 and 1 third units. Not bad. 1, 2, 3, and about a third. Great. Now let's move on to another situation. Let's consider the situation where the object is in front of the focal point. Again, remember, since the object is here, we always look through a lens at an object, then our eyeball is here. So this is where our, our light receptor is receiving the light, and of course it's attached to our brain. That will be important in a second. So let's do the same thing. We draw our, our rays. So we have an incoming ray coming in parallel, and then goes out through the focal point. And we have our other ray. Well, we come up through the focal point. Now, of course, this part of the line is just for me to get the line straight. It really starts from the top of the candle, and then it comes out parallel. These two lines will never converge. They do not form a real image. But what our brain does, clever as it is, is it assumes, and it always assumes, light is traveling in a straight line. So it just sketches these light rays back behind the lens in a straight line. And same with this guy, back behind the lens in a straight line. And let me draw that very straight, somewhere around here. And if we form our image, 
it's right side up and a bit larger. Let's, let's check things out below. Well, 1 over the focal point equals 1 over the object distance plus 1 over the image distance. And the focal distance is 2, 4, 6. The object distance is simply 1 half plus 1 over the image distance. And again, we solve the fraction, so I will subtract a 1 half from both sides. 1 half minus 1 half is 0. So on this side, I've got 1 sixth minus 1 half. On the other side, I just have 0 plus 1 over the image distance, which is just 1 over di. And then if I come back here to finish the problem, 1 sixth minus 1 half, well, we need to find a common denominator. That will be 6. So we have 1 sixth minus 3 sixth equals 1 over the image distance. And here we have a negative 2 sixths, which is just negative 1 third. And that equals 1 over the image distance. And therefore, the image distance is simply negative 3. Well, we did get about 3, 1, 2, 3. And the negative sign, the negative sign indicates that it's a, a virtual image. So that's important. And there you go.